tissue fabric. Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Taylor and I hair make scrunchies and bows and I've been doing so for nine and a half years now. In today's video, I'm going to be packaging up a heap of orders from my sale. I had a big sale because I hit up 100,000 followers on Instagram. If you haven't already, go check out my Instagram. I post all the updates on there. Also, if you haven't subscribed to me on YouTube, Make sure you hit that subscribe and turn that notification bell on because I will be trying to post two videos a week from now on or at least bi-weekly. I've just finished making nearly everything for these orders. At the start of the year, I did want to have everything in stock, but things happened, things changed. So I have been mostly doing a to order still. I will be trying to do like a big making session in the next week or so because I really need to get my little scrunchie wall back up and running because that is looking pretty sad right now. There's not a lot in there. I've just printed out a heap of the invoices. Well, the packing slips. There's a couple. There we go. So there's a few here. I usually just like write a little thank you on them. And I also put one of these over the address so you can't see the address. It's also raining, which is kind of sad. I kind of miss the sun already. It's going to be such a sad winter. <laughs> I like the sun.
So these are the colors I chose for me. I think I did get a comment saying like I spent too much on packaging. And I actually just want to make it clear, I actually don't spend a cent on, on any extra like thank you cards or stickers. I've always used thank you cards. And the stickers I thought were a nice touch. And I have a lot of repeat customers, so I just wanted to do something that was different for them each month. I actually don't spend any money on it because I am partnered with Vistaprint. So they give me, like, credit each month to, you know, post content and stuff for them. Oh, I didn't print out any of those things. Oh, well, I don't really have time. I'm just going to have to use this. hope there's enough. Yeah, that might clear some confusion. Also, I'm missing so many items. I didn't realize how many I was missing. And I do need to print out some more labels, like packaging labels, but I don't really have time right now because I think a lot of the stuff is still missing, so. Anyway, I'm gonna speed this up and, and just keep packaging everything. So I really need to get all these out today and I'm already running behind.
I've only got about 10 more minutes to go uh, if I really need to start getting down. I've already printed all the labels off and I've just like really, really quickly made the missing stuff. So if I look a bit rushed, that is why. Most of them. A couple more ago. Gonna get these down the post office now. Hi everyone. Um, I'm back. I went to the gym, and now I'm back in the studio. I need to tidy up this place because this is an absolute mess. I was just rushing around to get everything done. So I still do have a couple of things I need to do in terms of orders, but it's mostly I want to get stuff done for the market tomorrow. And I suppose if I get all these orders done tonight, I can actually go drop them in to the post box and they'll be picked up tomorrow because my post office is open tomorrow morning. I just won't be around. And I've got a few new ones that came in and the labels for them. See how I do my labels. Usually I print out these ones. And when I say print out, I just use my mum bin. Actually, no, I can't bother setting it up. Never mind. I knew I printed out another, another lot. <laughs> so... Yeah, I just used my mum bin and I print out the whole roll in one go. I didn't want to set it back up because I actually don't, it's in storage, the thing that I need to print out. You don't need it, but it makes life easier and I just can't be bothered. But look at this, I just found it. I found a whole roll. I was going to say, I didn't think I used a whole roll already. I figure I might as well film some of me making this stuff. And when I say this stuff, I mean the stuff I'm making for the market. <laughs> I will also be making the other stuff, but I want to get these done. And also, Mom went and found me this box out in the garage, in the mug stuff. But these are almost all made. I just need to sew the elastic and then sew, sew them up. And then also I need to thread these. And then that will be a whole board ready for tomorrow. And I just want to make a couple of these. You have some of these tomorrow too. I'm not going to make the scrunchy ones uh, besides the ones I have for orders because they take a lot longer to make. Whereas I found out that I can actually make these ones really fast. Which I didn't realise I could. Also I'm going to change all the hardware to just plain silver because I think the silver ones wear up better. The Ones like black and stuff, they um, scratch really easily. 
I found, so I'm going to change that. I'm going to make, make a whole new listing for the June launch before I go to Japan. I wish I'd line this one up. <laughs> it's really wonky. Um, my thing's upside down. Can't believe counting. At first when I was making these, I thought that they were too floppy, but then I started getting feedback saying that they, that customers actually liked it this way. So I don't know. So I guess I'll just continue until I finish this whole interfacing or stabilizer, whatever you want to call it. And then I'll decide what I want to do. Because yeah, the, all the ones I've owned, they're quite stiff. That's why feedback's important because you don't know until someone gives you feedback. Feedback is so important, especially constructive criticism as well. You know, you're just one person, you don't know whether or not people do like it. Just because you like it doesn't mean everyone else will. It could be the other way around too, just because you don't like it doesn't mean everyone else will hate it. Because I thought, oh, you know, they're not, I don't know, hard enough, but turned out everyone, well, the feedback I've got so far, they all like it. Especially like at markets, they'll come up and go, oh, yeah, they're nice and soft. I don't know, everyone's different though. Oops, that was way too. Oh, wait, it was just perfect. Okay.
So I just finished making a few of the bracelets and quite a few of the petites. So I'm just gonna go pack my car now. I still have like four things to make for the orders. So I think I'm just gonna do them tomorrow when I go over the market and then ship them Monday morning. So yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. So I've just finished all those orders. There wasn't really that many to do. I only had like four things to make. And I'm so sore from the gym. I don't do gym. This is like painful. What? In my arms. Anyway. Today. 
went to sail for the first time in oh, six months, I think. This is my first time back since, oh, I don't know if I even went to December. Probably December though. Yeah, and I made $150, but minus the $30 stall fee, it's $120. Bucks. Um, and then obviously, like, my products and stuff. Yeah, so I didn't make much money today, but I did cover some of my expenses, which I'll show you, my shopping, because I did go to the sale spotlight, it's one of my favourite places to go, because uh, they always have like heaps of clearance fabric and it's like usually really cheap. I'll show you what I got. And I have, I've been trying not to spend any money this year really, I think I stopped spending money in February for the business because I've just got too much stuff and I've got plenty of fabric. Yeah, there's there's plenty of fabric here to to go through and work on and work with. There's still heaps in the cupboard that I haven't even touched. They're all in like big boxes and there's still heaps there and I've got heaps under here. But I did buy some new things. And the girls in Spotty were actually like, Oh, I haven't seen you in ages and I'm like, I know. <laughs> I've been good. I actually haven't I don't think I've actually spent money on fabric since January. I think the only fabric I've purchased this year, I think, was only my birthday fabric. I can't recall purchasing other fabric because I haven't been to sale and I barely shopped in Spotty in Trailgan at all this year. Yeah, I think I, I think that's right. I think I've only spent like fifty dollars on fabrics in five months. That's insane. Like I've <laughs> that's that's not much for me because usually I'm spending like a thousand dollars every month. Anyway. So, we have Deluxe Satin, and by the way, they're doing that sale again, so I usually go like crazy on this sale, but because I'm trying to save money for the house, I am not going crazy, and I've already got too much fabric, but I did spend $100 here so I could get the $40 off. So, I bought my Deluxe Satin in black because I realised I only have like two minutes left, probably not even that. You guys have been purchasing so many black scrunchies. Now this, this was an absolute steal, oh my god. So it is dance lycra fabric, like that knit spandex stuff. This fabric will sell like this in scrunchies at the markets. I guarantee it, as soon as I make these, they'll sell straight away. Anyway, $1.60 per meter. Because it was $2 and I got an extra 20% off. Actually, it was less than that because I also got the $40 off. Let's have a little look, see how much that would actually have been. So if it was $2 and you minus the 20%, equals $1.60. And then I'm going to minus 35 because I went a little bit over. Okay, it was about a dollar a meter if you're working out that way. Because yeah, I had to go a little bit over the $100. I think I ended up spending $73 rather than $60, if that makes sense, um, with the $40 off because I was like under by two dollars because of these things so i also bought these it is brown thread for my diy packs i realized i didn't actually have any brown thread i have all the other colors uh that i need for the diy packs except these so i thought better get some of those while i remember but because they were in a deal i think it was like three for ten dollars or something uh when i went to buy them like, I was, like, looking at the price, it was, like, $103, and then when she went to the next screen, screen, it went down to 98 so I was actually under, so I had to spend another two bucks. I also got this. I thought it's very, I don't know, like, wintery vibe, because we are coming into winter in Australia. Winter starts, and I thought, well, that's going to be perfect for the June release, so I'm going to release a heap of knits and like warmer feels. I'm gonna go pretty much all blue, I reckon, for the, this month's release, or next month's release. Now, these ones, I'm not sure about. I was, okay, so, just back it up a little bit. I'm going to be doing headbands. Now, I've said for years, literally two years, I had a look. The video I posted was two years ago. <laughs> I wanted to do headbands two years ago, which were the elastic, well, elastic, no, like stretch ones around the head um, for kids and adult. I also want to do, wanted to do the, like, yeah, just hard headbands. Now, 
I I don't know how how they're gonna go, but I didn't really want to spend a lot of money on them in case they don't go well. So that's why I bought clearance knit. When I say clearance knit, it was eight dollars a meter, and I think it came down to six forty a meter because the extra twenty percent off. Oh, but then I also got the forty dollars off. So who knows what? I don't know. It was it was cheaper though. Because this stuff was $30 a meter originally, and I had a look at all the other knits, $30 a meter, and, I'm, and they weren't even on sale, so didn't want to spend that much. So I got a couple of different colors. I didn't get black because there was none in the clearance section anyway, and I wasn't spending $30 a meter on it. Because I just don't know how they're going to go. The only thing is, like, I love all these colors though. They're just such my vibe. I just don't know how they're going to go. Um... Because it's, it's quite a thick knit. I I don't know. Like, it's still soft and stretchy. But I don't know if it's going to be too thick. Like, compared to the other ones. The other ones are, like, really soft and quite... I don't know. So, anyway, I'm going to make some out of these. And see. But, yeah, these are the ribbed ones. I need to go in the garage and have a look for my other stretch fabrics. I think they're in the garage. They're somewhere. But I also want to make some, yeah, actual headbands and other bits and pieces. But I think maybe to start off with, we'll start with these headbands in these colours. I might try and get black on sale if I can. So that's going to be the plan. Anyway, that is a whole separate vlog. So make sure to subscribe to my channel if you want to see what these turn out like because... I don't know. I'll probably have to use overlocker because it is a knit. I'm going to get going because my camera is about to die. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a lovely day. Bye.